Brrr, it's cold out there today. I hope you've been wrapped up warm if you've been out for your exercise or you've been for a walk out and about. I'm all wrapped up today. I've got my bobble hat on, I've got my scarf, and I've got my nice warm coat because it's ever so cold out there, friends. Today, I've brought you a cold story. This story is called Snowball. And it's by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett. And this is quite a funny story about what happens to a snowball when he rolls down a hill. Let's see what happens. Miles up, all alone, on a hill, looking down, a little round snowball gazed towards town. It looked so exciting, he wanted to play. It was time for some fun and today was the day. If he stayed where he was in the high mountain air, he'd have no one to play with and that isn't fair. He made up his mind to go on a mission. The town would be fun, he had a suspicion. So off Snowball set with a jiggy jig jig, but he didn't catch sight of the pesky brown twig. That pesky old twig caused Snowball to stumble. The poor little fellow had taken a tumble. As he skidded and bounced, what he did not yet know was that as he rolled downwards, he'd pick up more snow. What happens, do you think, when a snowball rolls down a hill? He gathers more snow and it gets bigger and bigger. And as he rolled faster with grace and with vigour, he started to grow, getting bigger and bigger. He was picking up snow, bits and bobs, this and that. Pebble nose, sticky arms, and a sheep for a hat. Oops, said Snowball, but what can I do? Bah, cried the sheep who was stuck on like glue. More snow piled on as he carried on growing. Faster and faster, no sign of him slowing. He was boinging and bouncing, down, 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 crashing and spinning, heading for town. Rabbits and flowers were in for a squashing. And now he was heading for somebody's washing. Tumbling and twirling faster and faster. Oh my goodness, what a disaster. Some spectacles here, some sausages there, dozens of dogs and a big scary bear. Romantic couples out for a meal, an acrobat team, an electric eel. The mayor of the town, not her ladyship too. And no, Snowball, no, please don't visit the zoo. Oh dear, I think that could be a real disaster at the zoo. Squawking and roaring, growling and hooting, croaking and hissing, screeching and tooting. The Snowball was zooming as fast as a rocket, filling with stuff like a gigantic pocket. Zigging and zagging, down, 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 bashing and smashing through the small town. Still gathering snow, he shot past in a flash. Then, all of a sudden, an almighty crash. Out flew a pebble with some sticks and a sheep. Out came some socks and some pants in a heap. Sausages, dogs and a big scary bear. A romantic couple with snow in their hair. The acrobat team, the electric eel, the mayor of the town spinning out like a wheel. And not to forget the whole of the zoo. The snowball had managed to swallow that too. Goodness me, that's quite a lot of stuff, isn't it? After all the commotion, the scene was snow white. The end of the story? Well, not yet, not quite. Unlike the beginning, as this story ends, our lonely young snowball has made lots of friends. What happens? If you throw a snowball and it hits a wall, it disintegrates. That means it turns into lots of tiny pieces. And that enormous snowball has turned into lots of snowballs. A whole snowball family. This one looks cosy with his little hat. I wonder if he collected that from the washing basket as he rolled down the hill. And lots of snowflakes like year one have been making. Oh no. Oops, he started to roll again. I hope he doesn't collect as much stuff as he did before. I hope you enjoyed that story. This story was Snowball 
by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett. And if you like that story, you might enjoy the Super Tato books that are also by Sue Hendra. They're quite funny. Not about snowballs, but about a superhero potato. I hope you enjoyed, friends. I hope you're all keeping safe and warm and that I see you all soon and that the sun will come out and warm us all up.